Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Kingdoms of Alamur. I think we need to go this way. There's actually a target thing on the minimap, which guides us towards we need where we need to go to. Lots R3. Oh well, that's not really helping. It's not really helping me, that is. So there's things that we can break? No, there's things that we can collect here. Well, progress log. Experiments are now successfully recreating bodies 97.5% of the time. Any missing limbs or extra fingers are now probably how the original subject looked, rather than a magical flux on our end. However, full revivification still eludes us. Even with increased testing, products are nothing more than inert lumps of skin and bone. Although the occasional spasm or twitch does allow hope of full success in the future. I know some of you complain that we should use cadavers and skip the corpse recreation altogether, but you must know we'd never be allowed to experiment with a subject's actual body. We may be working to recreate life, but that hardly allows us to desecrate the dead. Any further complaints can be brought to me directly. Fumorous use. Okay. So that's a little bit of lore there right for you. Yeah, they want us to go this way. The gloom, though, it's everywhere. You look important. You've made it, and look at you. Even with all you've been through, the Tuatha, your return from the dead. Please forgive me. You must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes. And this is my laboratory at Alistar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing. The well of souls. The pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. You don't know. They're called the Tuatha. They were once fey folk of the Winter Court, but they've been twisted by their Lord Gadflow. But how could they have found us out here? We're miles away from the front lines. The war has never touched Dalantarth. And why attack the well? The Fey are complicated. I could write ten volumes on the effects of immortality on a pseudo-feudal court system alone. I am Fomorous Hughes, scholar of vivification prime circle. We're standing above my life's work. The Well of Souls. And there's so much to learn about you, though. I, I imagine it's all a bit muddled. A side effect of the prismere? The shape of the basin? No, no. If only we had more time. I wish I could tell you more, but your death is a mystery to me as well. It seems that your memory died with your body. You see, the well is designed to capture the soul of someone recently deceased. Recreating their physical form within its waters. Simple, really. Your rebirth is the first we might truly call a success. There have been others, but the results weren't quite right. The Tuatha are a radical splinter of the Fae. Insane, bloodthirsty, and immortal. Even when they die, their essence returns home to be reborn later. They hate mortals like you and me, and want us wiped off the face of Amalur. I can only imagine how much they hate the idea of mortals being reborn. It's been my life's work. Decades of research with a singular goal, ending death itself. And now, you're the only proof that it's a success. But why did it work on you and no one else? What makes you different from the others? There are so many questions to ask, and if we're to get any answers, we've got to get you someplace safe. Too much to explain right now. 
the Tuatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Where are we? We're in the Feylands, miles away from the front lines. I thought we were safe enough from the war, but it seems some of the Tuatha found their way here anyway. I've got more questions. Of course you do. Please, though, we must hurry. I'm ready. Good, good. <laughs> we can't waste time. Absolutely not. I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... you're... Wait, where are you going? Fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... Perhaps I should go see. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the Tawatha have reached the lab. That inside the... Oh. No, we've got to get you out of here now, quickly. Follow the path to the town of Gorhart. Find Agath. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! Oh, look at you go! Oh, oh my! <clears throat> you uh, know how to fight, don't you? Alright, is there anything here that we can pick up? Uh, it doesn't look like there is. So, I think it's time to escape Alistar Tower, or at least try to. Um, yeah, we, we can toggle the sprint, that's a thing. Alright, so there's some stuff here. Should have probably assassinated you with my... I, I need to switch <laughs> to my daggers. this works but this is not uh, the intended thing right so weapons primary sure that one and I need to lower the volume a bit on my ears my goodness there we go anything here yeah there's a chest what does it have lockpicks and gold very good we can use that. Uh, could we loot you guys? No, there's nothing to loot. Or at least I don't see any sparkles, so I assume there's no loot to be found. There's loot here, though. Tear this tower apart. Healing potion, very good. Oh, also there's there's this thing. Uh, let me see. So we get consumables. We can, we have those things. We can map them to our radial uh, map. Um, sure, I want it there. Uh, what is this? Increase the damage you do. All right. So we don't we don't really have use for that yet. Oh boy. Oh, that's also a thing that I really need to... No, not that. Um, L1. No. Oh, never mind. Completely forgot about the... It says L1 in the bottom right, but... We ran, we ran out of arrows. Lightning, or was it a critical hit? Oh my god. Alright, so... No, no, no. No, no, no. I thought... <laughs> I thought I... There. Close. I say, I thought I added that. No. There. No! Map slot. There. Use. Oh, I cleared it. I see. Oh wow, that hurts. Why can I not dodge? I I did the dodging. I 
promise I did. Oh my god, you got a lot of health, don't you? This is a horrible, oh, horrible battle. Let's get some d agger shots in. Alright, so there's... No, I want to use... Why, 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 why won't you use... There, that's the one I wanted. Did that do anything? Probably not. It resisted. Oh, that's why. Ow. Oh, that was a good hit. Let's see if we can do one of those again. This is 16. I ran out of arrows. Okay, well, let's finish him off with our daggers then. Oh, that, that's gotta hurt, doesn't it? Well, I got plenty of XP. Is there loot? A squire ring. And a shard. Shards can be used to craft gems. Accessories? Yes. Plus five health. Absolutely. <coughs> that is what I want. Anything else to loot? Doesn't look like there's any loot. No sparkly bits. Nope, nothing. Just a door here. Alistar Glade. So I think we have escaped the tower. According to the loading screen, we uh, will enter a, a forest. Of some kind. It's a big loading screen. Yeah, that's it. Out of the darkness. Hey, we, we leveled up. Nice. So we can level up in... Detect hidden is interesting. Persuasion is very interesting. Um, stealth, maybe? Lockpicking is also interesting. Um, enemies, not a creature displayed on the minimap. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do that. Confirm. And uh, finesse is where we're at, so we're gonna use. We can upgrade our dagger skill, or do this, or something with our bow, or this. Yeah. Oh, there's more even. Assassin's art unlocks new sneak attacks with daggers or fey blades. If you deal enough damage. Okay, so first of all, I'm, I'm going to do that, that, and this. Confirm. Cut heart has been added to our map. Oh, and there's stuff that you can pick up. Uh, regions. That basically lay around everywhere. Do we have to talk to you? We got a new quest. Another survivor? But... I've never seen you in the tower. Were you one of the professor's assistants in the downstairs projects? Did he escape with you? He distracted them so I'd escape. That sounds like him. Professor Hughes was very thoughtful. I mean, is. He is very thoughtful. I'm sure he found a way to get out. He must have. Alistar is remote enough that we don't get a lot of visitors. And with our research, fewer visitors means fewer questions. Oh, you mean Agar? He visits Hughes every once in a while. I never could figure out why they got along. He's friendly enough, if a bit odd. You should be able to find him in Gorhart, just down the road. 
past the ruins. You can't miss it. We all knew Formidus was a genius, but I'll admit, even I had my doubts about him being able to bring the dead back to life. Guess the Tuatha weren't very pleased that it worked. I just don't understand the Tuatha. I mean, most Fey aren't violent. The wild ones can be, but no more than any forest animal. But the Tuatha are some sort of cult among the Winter Fey. Before they invaded Erethel, no one could have imagined the Fey ever marching to war. Brilliant idea, the Well of Souls. Plucks dead people out of the ether, rebuilds their body, and brings them back to life. At least that's what it was supposed to do. Guess we'll never know if it worked now. We should be safe here. At least a little. So you're fighting there? We could have used more of you. Did he really have a troll? The giant rock thing? Yeah. I don't know how the Twather found us, but if they had a troll, it couldn't have been an accident. Fate was kind to collapse that doorway behind you, or they would have chased us into the glade. They started building here when they found Prismere in the mines nearby. Never thought we'd see Twatha this far out west, though. Fate weavers? Ah, charlatans! You swears by them. But I'll be damned if I trust my future to some cards. Hughes ran off, you say? I wouldn't worry too much. The old man's tougher than he looks. And he's always got a plan. They're technically a type of wild fae. Related to the fae of the summer and winter courts, actually. Dangerous enough in the wild. The Twatha also used them in their army. I never did trust Fae to begin with. But those Twath are the worst sort. They waged some sort of holy war against humans and Alpha for years now. But the front's all the way out east. What are they doing out here? How did they know about this place? The well was incredible. But it took armloads of Prismere crystals to keep the thing active. That's why we built it so close to the Stone Candle Mines. They even put in a few tunnels to deliver the crystals directly into the well. I told them it wasn't safe. Looks like I was right. Again. Good luck out there. All right. Hey, what is this? Thank Matharu. Another survivor. Are there any more? Uh, the door collapsed behind me. I suppose that's a little bit of kindness from fate. May those still trapped inside rest peacefully. This was supposed to be a nice isolated grove. So much for that. You don't see many fate weavers nowadays, but they were very popular when I was a girl. My parents even hired one to advise them on raising my sister and me. But these days, you're lucky if you can find a single fate weaver in a big city. Most have been run out of town. For Morris Hughes was one of the greatest minds of our generation. The Well of Souls was a dream that was almost too good to come through. Who knows why the Tuatha hate mortals? Who knows why the Fae do half the things they do? The Well was a beautiful dream. An end to death. A cure to tragedy. It would have made war pointless. It could have saved the world. We should have known it was too good to exist. Now our friends have paid the price. <laughs> Stay safe. We'll be moving huh. soon. It's a lot of lore that we got there. Uh, they don't know I got revived by the Well of Souls. And that's probably a good thing. The pulsing circle on your mini-up indicates your quest objective. I know. This is a shrine. Temporary bonus. Interesting. Um, also, I see some enemies there. Sorry. The, over this way? Can we walk through the water? Is it... Oh, wait. We can search here. Uh, we can swim. 
Yeah, it seems like there's something here. Probably hiding a treasure. Yo, I don't know about you, rats, but... Oh god, you, the other one didn't even die. Now they're all dead now. Yeah, uh, besides you. And you. Okay, now everybody's dead. Good job. Cripple spore, no regions. Yeah. Sometimes you don't get them. Uh, pick lock. Angle of the pick. Okay. And then... Let's see if... Well, we got it. That was fairly easy. Crude cotton ropes. A scepter. That's all stuff for... Sorcerer. Dispelling. How do I dispel? I've never done this. Press X when the cursor is above a glyph to break it. Glyphs will reseal themselves after a time. Miss and all glyphs will reseal. Some glyphs reseal faster than others. Be careful of the order you break them in. Break all of the glyphs to dispel the ward. Oh my god. That is pretty difficult. Daggers of skill. Oh yes, baby. Thank you. And we also picked up uh, some armor, I guess. That is melee. Oh, what did we get? These. Melee block. You know what? Oh, we, we don't have enough might. That is also a thing. As you may, uh, may, may notice. Okay, is there something else here? Unlock the food locker. Let's try that again. Nope. 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 It should be this then. Got it. Crude iron daggers, iron hammer, stuff. Loot the skeleton. Alright, so we got some loot here. We escaped the tower and now we're on our way towards the nearest town where there will be side quests. So thank you very much for watching Kingdoms of Alamore. And I will see you next time.